Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel, and I am your host. Today is October 4th, 2018, Thursday. Beautiful morning. Fun fact for you. Uh, today happens to be my oldest child's 16th birthday. She turned 16. Happy sweet 16th birthday to you, Deja. Uh, if you're watching this, daddy loves you. And another fun fact is that today I happen to bring a message that applies to you wherever you are in life. You don't even need to be in sales. If you are in sales, this applies to you if you are a low producer, a beginner, intermediate, you're just getting by, or even if you're a top dog, like you are the boss on your sales floor. And if that's you, wherever you are, then this message applies to you. So stick around and enjoy the episode. So on a daily basis, as some of you know who follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, besides here on YouTube, including even Twitter and Snapchat, I try and do a daily post. The daily post that is both motivational and will also leave you with some content that's going to help you uh, improve your hustle, improve your negotiation, improve your mindset. And I'm just trying to bring value on a day-to-day -day basis because it, it actually really does help me. It actually helps me in return. And that goes back to that saying that if you help enough people get what they want, you'll eventually get what it is you want. And it, man, it's so true. And again, it, it goes back to the philosophy that I preach here on this channel is that selling is not selling. Selling is actually serving, right? I think a lot of salespeople, um, just a lot of people in general, you know, they, uh, man, that thing's like, <laughs> they have this uh, hidden intent and it's all about getting, right? Like when they sell, they have this intention of getting. They're trying to get the sale. They're trying to get the commission. They're trying to get the reward. They're trying to get the result. And once that gets flipped, and this is probably the, the hardest challenge because it's human nature, like right, our, our internal survival skills that's been wired inside us since we were cavemen living in caves, bro. Like we want to try and get, we are hunters and gatherers. Does that make sense? All day we're trying to get, we're trying to get the job, we're trying to get the girl or boy, wherever, you know, however you swing. And we're trying to get the prize, we're trying to get the income, we're trying to get things all day long. And so nonetheless, it's natural that when we go into, like even consumers, right? Us as a consumer, when we go into a sales pitch, we're trying to get the best deal. We're trying to get the lowest rate or get the free offer. We're just all, we're all bred that way. And the, the challenge is though, is that, you know, we have to learn how to actually operate in a different way. And that's why, you know, I did a video yesterday about how to be, how to really be the top producing loan officer uh, in, in your industry or in your branch, in your sales floor, in your company. And I know this is true because I've helped dozens and dozens of loan officers, not only on my team, but across my career as well as um, you know, throughout the country, who's really absorbed the message that I share. I've helped them climb to the top and I am proud to say that I brought the, the unlock, the unlock to their, to their real potential. And some have taken it farther than others and ultimately it came down to choice, whether or not, you know, cause some people, you know, not everyone wants to be rich. Not everyone wants to be successful. I know, that's what I said, like, what, boo boo, tell me you, tell me you lying. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like for real, there's a lot of people that really are okay with being mediocre and it blows my mind. And if you're like that, hey, I, more power to you, bro. God bless you. But, you know, there's a lot of us want to be successful, you know, um, and we envision ourselves just, just continue climbing. Like we just want to be better. And, and I believe ultimately the reason why we want that success is because we see the end result. Again, it goes back to us getting. And so... And so anyway, in the video yesterday, I really taught, you know, share some tips on how to actually flip it, flip the script, and it will actually help you improve your game in the process. Instead of trying to get, 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 try to actually serve, 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 and try to give value, give, 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 right? So instead of get, give. And um, anyway, going back to the topic in this video, how this applies to you is that, you know, I, I put up the post and the, the, the meme in itself, it said, uh, sooner or later, you are going to face the person that you are busy becoming. And you are either going to regret or be ultimately happy and contentful with what you see. And, and basically the message was, was talking about, hey, whatever you're doing right now is going to determine your future. But I, I spinned it in a different way. I said that what you're going through right now 
<laughs> is in direct correlation with everything you've already done. And so what that what that does, and my whole hope is that it resonates with you because however you're feeling, like I said, this applies to everybody. So however you're feeling right now, if you're feeling low, if you're feeling burnt, frustrated, if you're feeling, you know what I mean, work to the max, if, you, if you're feeling at a real ultimate low, like man, when will this turn around? And even if you're at the top of your game, like you're flying high, you, you got that swag, you just, you got that confidence, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're, just, you're chipper. <laughs> I want you to know the reason why you're at that level or why you're living that way or experiencing that is because of all the actions you've taken thus far. It's everything you've done up until now that's put you in that position. And again, I want to go a little bit even, I want to go even deeper on you, is that if we are aware of this fact, this gives us the ultimate power to determine our future, does it not? This gives us the ability to change the course of where we're going. Crazy, right? Like, and what I'm talking about is that if you knew that sooner or later you're going to face your future, you're either going to regret or be extremely happy and celebrate what you're doing today. Wow, again, <laughs> whoa, right? And so, you know, going back to the video I, I made yesterday, and I'll leave a, I'll try to remember to leave a link or a card, one of those things you push, that tells you how to be a successful loan officer and really sell more loans and really be a dominant force in your industry. It could have been real vague, right? It could have been real vague, like how to just be dominant, period, right? Like how to just be dominant in general, how to be the boss of boss. And, and really, it comes down to your own specific desire because like I just said, not everyone wants to be uber successful. There are people who are actually afraid of success and, and, and you know, we can't hate on them, right? Because people don't really like the attention. People, when you get to a successful point, all eyes start focusing on you because the smart ones in the room are trying to duplicate you or they're trying to mirror your actions so they could take your spot. And so what I'm saying is that, you know, some people, they just don't want to be that target. They don't want to have the, the responsibility or the expectation to deliver all the time. It happens to me, boo-boo. Like, check this out. Like, in, in the sales meetings, on the manager meetings that I go into, it, it, to be honest with you, I'm gonna get a little emotional. I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get real, real with you. That there are times where you know, like in the meeting, I, I want my my gratitude. You know what I mean? I want my acknowledgement. Like who doesn't want their acknowledgement? People fight for first place all the time, right? Like, like the whole point of having your probably your sales rally where you get announced on the board or you get to the top of the chart is so you can get acknowledged, right? But you get to a point where you become so successful where you're always at the top like the acknowledgement stops and it's crazy man and, and to this day it still bothers me my wife laughs at me she uh she you know she thinks that it's probably because like you know i didn't have a, a dad growing up like I, I got a dad but i didn't have a dad does that make sense like my dad wasn't there for me he wasn't with me throughout my childhood you know my mom passed away at a younger age so i was i was actually raised by guardians and, and guardians of course i had guardians that rooted me on they they you know they were the positive influence and and they acknowledged me when i when i was doing good and when when I was a reward, but there's a different acknowledgement you get from a parent, like as a dad or as a mom, if you're a dad or your mom right now, make sure you acknowledge your kids because it goes a long way. I mean, damn, man, I'm 37 years old and it's fucking me up. Like still to this day, like I still get, you know, a little, you know, if I go deeper and deeper into my layers, it's probably my, my wife, again, she knows me the, mo the best. She believes that there's just inner child in me that just wants acknowledgement. That's why I fight so hard. That's why I strive to be better and to be the best. And anyway, there are times where, you know, because I'm always at the top of the chart. It's just the way I rock it, boo-boo. And, and, you know, and, and it's funny because, you know, my VP or my manager, my, my wife, again, going back to her, she, she thinks that I look at him as a father figure. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't look at nobody as a father figure. Like, you ain't my daddy. 
<laughs> but um, she believes I, I do because he's he's a sign of authority to me. He's the one I report to, right? He's, he's my boss. And, uh, and maybe to some degree her psychological reasoning is correct. And maybe this applies to you, that there's this authority figure that you're just trying to please. It could be your partner. It could be your boss. It could be your best friend. It could be someone else, but outside of your parents. It could be actually be your parents, right? Like you don't necessarily have the same, have the same background as me. But where I'm getting at is that there, the inside you, there's this, there's this desire, and uh, and you know, anyways, in these meetings, I'm always at the top, but I rarely get acknowledged now because I'm expected to be at the top. My manager even told me that. My VP even told me that. It's like you know, he's going through the top of the list, giving shout outs, completely bypasses my name, even though I'm fucking killing it, and goes over and gives everyone else shout outs. This is cool. I'm not trying to take away from anybody, but boo boo, give me my cred, man. Like say, hey, man. <laughs> whoa <laughs> like hey bro you're doing it um but i get it you know like coming from a manager point you don't want to blow your your top producers head up and make them feel like they're dominant but i'm about as as modest as can be some of the people that work with me actually watch this channel and uh you'll know i'm modest i'm not there flashing around i'm not there in your face like get some fool uh slamming my check on your fucking desk like <laughs> You know, I don't do that shit. I used to when I was a kid. But anyway, going back to the topic. And the reason why I share this is because, you know, as it's my daughter's 16th birthday, I, I, want, I want you to understand that when she was born, right, before, like right when I found out she was, she was, uh, that I was going to have her, I was bald headed. I was, I was not how you see me today. I was thugged out. You know, all my dress clothes were white tees and khakis. That's it. Like, I, that's it. You know what I mean? Like I, w I was big headed all the time. I, I, you know, I wore those gloves, like you know, those cotton black gloves with shirts. Like it would be the summer, but I had black gloves on for some reason and shit. Just bad, right? Like I was into real bad things, and um, you know, it was the decision to to provide my daughter and my children now. It still rings to this day to provide them what I don't, what I didn't have, to give them everything that I didn't have growing up because I knew how fucked up it was. I knew how bad that shit was. And I'm blessed to have my kids because it was that thing. They were that reason. They were that thing that became my ultimate desire. It's not wanting you know, acknowledgement from my VP, it, you know, because to, to be honest with you, I could care less. But I mean, it's still at some times it does tug a couple heartstrings because you want acknowledgement, right? It's natural for us to want acknowledgement. But just remember that that shit's temporary, right? So, so ask yourself a question today. Is what you're thriving for temporary? Because if what you're thriving for temporary, all you got to do is just find your ultimate reason why. And sometimes you just got to peel back the layers of your why. You know, you might, you might just be at the top layer, right? You might just be two peels in. Right? And the two peels in is is you want your wife to be happy for you, or your husband, whoever you are, right? Or you want your VP to be to be acknowledge you. You want to get that first place in that sales rally. But if you, but that's temporary, right? Because once you get it, then what? <laughs> but if you peel back another layer, it could be I want to get six figures per year. Like ooh, that big six figure income, or I want to earn a quarter million dollars per year. Again, that's temporary because when you hit it, then what? So you got to literally keep peeling back. And what you're going to find out, and this is why it applies to all of us, is because when we figure out the core, like peel back all the layers, and, and everyone's core is different, right? Everyone's core is, is way different. Like your core could be um, to start a family or to buy a house or to be the provider of your family to take care of your mom and take care of your dad that everyone's core is different and but when you find that core something magical happens because you're aware of what your true desire is you're aware of the thing that is not going to you know it, it I back up it is going to help you not fret away or sway off track this at the slightest hint of any resistance at the at the slightest hit of hate at the slightest hit of envy at the you know instead of instead of being jealous or envious you're actually your ego you're being aware you're being empathetic and this is this is real freedom because what happens is where most will look at and hate and be like oh fuck that i bet you they're not happy make some fucking stupid reason as to why they're not eating or why they're not winning or why they can't live that life if not better that is the common reaction but when you find out your core you're actually going to have enough 
uh, empathy and enough self-awareness and and you're not going to let your ego stand in your way in those cases. You're actually going to say, okay, well, this is the formula. This is how they're doing it. Man, wait till they see me. <laughs> <laughs> right, because you you don't want other people, you know, you don't want to weigh other people down. You don't wish bad upon other people. Like you would, you are you are happy to see other people making it because you know it's possible, right? And not only that, but you're able to take pages from their book and write your own, boo boo, write your own. So I hope you find this message true, and I appreciate the times that you spend with me this morning. Today is Thursday, like I said, and every Thursday I do a weekly live stream on YouTube at Sales Remastered from 8.30 to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And today it's going down. And for those of you who are going to join me, I'm going to teach you some amazing sales techniques that's going to help you make a couple extra bucks. I'm going to teach you some amazing mindset hacks that's going to help you get that much further. <laughs> but more importantly, I got a shout out to everyone who's still with me. If you want to get a copy of The Secret Formula, I got this special going on. But the thing is, you got to do two things. You got to go to either Facebook or you got to go to LinkedIn connect with me there and send me a DM and say, yo D, I just saw the video. I want to get the secret formula. Hook a brother up <laughs> or hook a sister up, whoever's hitting me up. Um, and, and just like those who already hit me up, I already had 25 responses from the video yesterday and all 25 of those people, well, actually I back back 23 of those people already got hooked up. They're plugged in this morning, bruh. They're getting the gold. They're getting that feed. They're getting the unlock it's like the matrix it's just shit now they see everything in code <laughs> and they figured out the formula and i am so excited for them because they're going to to reach the level that they desire and i hope that you reach the level you desire if this is your first time watching the video or i'm sorry the content hit the subscribe button if you hit the bell you're going to get this little notification from time to time letting you know that i uploaded another video and it's going to give you a sneak peek of the title and if the title snaps out at you or pops out at you and says hey man i want to know about that then check out the video do me a solid like comment and subscribe and share that video you know what i mean share the brand awareness and uh yeah i'll see you on the next episode bye let me show you everything i know Jump.